Has TikTok ruined fashion? The answer is, of course, yes. Or is it? Let me ask you a few more questions. Did the iPod ruin CDs? What about vinyl records? Did digital cameras ruin film ones? Or let me ask a question that's not so black and white. Did Google ruin the importance of getting an education? Or has something like Tinder ruined the ability for you to find a relationship in the modern era? Maybe, but maybe not. In today's video, I'm gonna reopen the subject of TikTok's influence on modern fashion. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew What It Do. I make videos about fashion, art, culture, and TikTok. And I currently have about 120,000 followers on the platform of TikTok. I've been using it for about six months now, maybe a little bit more than six months. So I kind of understand the ins and out of the platform. With all that being said, let's dive into the topic at hand. Let's answer the title of this video. Has TikTok ruined fashion? I think that the majority of the people watching this video have some sort of disdain or dislike towards TikTok and maybe even a greater disdain for fashion influencers and fashion creators on TikTok. I open this video by asking you a series of contemporary questions that affect your livelihood maybe in the 21st century or have affected your livelihood in the 21st century. For example, the question of has Google ruined the importance of getting an education isn't a straightforward one. It takes a little bit more understanding of the nuance of the question to really answer it. You can't answer with yes or no. And I feel like the question of has TikTok ruined fashion is the same type of question. You really can't just say, yes, TikTok's ruined fashion. Well, you have to explain why. And you'll find, and what I hopefully they will find in this video is that it's a lot more complicated of an answer than you'd probably expect. But just like with any proper argument, you have to showcase the bad and the good. This first section, we're going to talk about the bad, why everyone hates it. And there are some prime reasons why I think a lot of people have a hatred or a disliking towards TikTok. And then we'll shift to the good. And then I'll give you my verdict on whether or not has TikTok ruined fashion. One of the prime reasons why TikTok gets a bad rap when it comes to the fashion community on the platform is because of the promotion of fast fashion. If you're a frequent of this channel, then you'll know I have a pretty strong disliking to fast fashion and or corporate fashion. The biggest brands headlining this fast fashion genre, I would say are Shein, Zara, H&M, Forever 21, Zaffle, Paxson, and if I missed any others, please, please feel free to comment them down in the comment section. Over and over again, these brands have been proven to exploit cheap labor, to use cheap textiles, and to create products with no originality that copy whatever is hot at the moment. And what far too many TikTokers do is buy hundreds of dollars of merchandise from these brands and make the lifestyle of buying from these brands something that is desirable, right? It really is muddled in really awful things, like I said, exploitative labor, cheap textiles, and just copying. Essentially teaching a young audience that this is the best way to get chic clothing at the lowest price. And that's the thing I just don't like. I'm pretty vehemently against fast fashion because it has so many negatives just for one positive, which is the price point, right? And that's typically the one positive that you get out of fast fashion is that the price point is amicable for the masses, for the majority of people. In this sense, I think TikTok is doing a massive disservice to young people, basically making an impression upon them that, the, like I said, the best way to get cheap clothing is through fast fashion when there are other options, whether it be vintage or secondhand, or whether it be supporting a smaller brand. That's where I have a, a little bit of a disliking or just like TikTok, come on. Like the, the people on TikTok sometimes it's like, come on guys, we, we can do better than this. But these halls are perpetuated because they get views, right? You have hundreds of items or, or a ton of items in a video. It's just gonna make people watch because they wanna see like, how could you spend so much and see what you got, those kind of things. It does have a negative effect, I believe, on fashion as a whole. Reason number two why I think people have a hatred or don't like TikTok is because a lot of the creators are also giving out bad and or strange advice through the platform. And of course, in my opinion, giving advice to buy fast fashion is always gonna be bad advice. <laughs> it goes further than that with TikTok, from how to wear your socks to how not to crease certain shoes 
or why you should be wearing this instead of this and how you should be wearing it. Not to mention the flex culture of TikTok of showcasing sneakers or clothing in comparison with the people around you, whether it be at an airport or a sneaker event, trying to uplift yourself over someone else because of a product that you own. These examples are abundant on TikTok and I think advert what the main focus of fashion is in my opinion, which is self-expression and having fun, right? And oftentimes functionality. Other things people typically hate about TikTok is like the reps community. I know there's a huge rep wars between people who buy reps and people who don't buy reps. And it's kind of simmered down a little bit since when I first entered into the platform, but it's always been something that's there. Another thing that I've kind of also had a disliking to is the lack of creativity at times. And it's just the way that TikTok works, right? A lot of times with TikTok, every week or every two weeks, new sounds populate your For You page to showcase um, different creative ideas around that sound, right? And with TikTok, essentially everyone's making the same video or a version of a video around a specific sound that is popular that week. Because TikTok's algorithm recognizes, you know, if this sound is trending and then these creators are creating based off of the sound that they're using, a lot of times they'll push that content more. So what you'll see is, is you know, maybe uh, obviously Drake Certified Lover Boy just came out this last week and you'll see a lot of content just showcasing a whole bunch of certified lover boy basically essentially creating very similar if not the same content whether it be on fashion tiktok or whether it be on other genres of tiktok as well and you might be thinking it's not the worst thing in the world and it really isn't but i think that when it comes to being someone who is a creative on the app it does bother me at times to see essentially the same type of videos over and 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 over again because of the fact that the format of TikTok is it rewards creators for basically being the same, right? For creating videos that have the same sounds, for creating videos that have the same feel and kind of just rinse and repeat week in and week out with different songs and different moods and different trends. I think another aspect of TikTok that I feel like audiences and I myself pick up on when I'm watching videos on the app is I ask myself this question when I'm watching certain people, um, which is, do they really love or care about the things that they're talking about? Or are they doing it for ulterior motives and clout? And this isn't just a TikTok problem. This is probably more so a social media problem because of the advent of social media and the creation of followers and influencers and celebrity status and all these kind of things are more attainable than they've ever been before, right? And with TikTok, you heard it a lot beginning of this year, last year, even the year before that, that you could essentially become a celebrity, a star on the app by creating videos that were fun, quirky, funny, about fashion, about cars, about sports, but whatever right and i think a lot of young people now and a lot of people now rush to be famous without really recognizing that anyone who creates content on apps they have to bring value to people so hopefully what i'm doing with you guys right now is i'm bringing you some sort of value while you're listening you could be you know chilling in your room you could be at the gym you could be in your car you could be on the train you could be on an airplane you could be wherever right and hopefully the intent of the videos that i create is to create value but sometimes when i'm watching tiktoks it's often um that i'll see someone who is kind of doing it for clout it seems like and maybe that's that's a personal judgment that i shouldn't be putting on them and i'll you know i don't really like judging people too much but something that i definitely notice when it comes to tiktok especially more so than with any other platform is the lack of genuine hair for some of the items and more so chasing clout but maybe it's just harder to express kind of what you really mean or how you really care about something in a 15 second video and that's once again just the nature of the app it is for entertainment for the most part a lot of times so like when it comes to value it's difficult to get people to pay attention for longer than 15 seconds and you have to be a, a really, really great creative to do something like that. And people are so used to just swiping and wasting time on the app. And that's another big thing. I think a lot of people don't like TikTok because of the amount of time they waste. And that doesn't have, even have to do with fashion TikTok. It just has to do with TikTok in general. Because even if you're on fashion TikTok, 
as you're swiping, every third or fourth video is not going to be fashion related because we're all multi-leveled. We all have multi-level interests. Some of us like cooking. Some of us like architecture. Some of us like interior design. Some of us like food once again. So a lot of times what you'll see is you'll be wasting a lot of time swiping, 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 doing those kind of things. And it just wastes your life, you know, doing some of those things because you could be out at the park or living your life, be doing so many other things, right? <laughs> Overconsumption is a huge part of the app. And with the invention of all of these social media platforms, I think we all recognize that we don't want to overconsume. We want to exit the digital world and actually live our lives in the real world more than we spend our times in the digital world because we understand that it's a it's a very curated world. A lot of times what people are doing is very calculated. It has a lot of attention to detail going into it. It has a lot of thought going into it. And it's making you, it'll make you think about things and feel, you know, insecure about yourself and that's something that we all deal with right like every single one of us look at someone who makes a tiktok or makes a youtube video or makes or whatever and say to yourself man i wish i had it like that like i wish i had these things or why is their life you know seem so easy right and so that's thoughts that we all wrestle with and that's not just with like i said not just with tiktok but that's also with all social medias right it's funny i think we've all been on tiktok if you've ever been on tiktok and you're swiping for a few minutes you're like okay yeah like okay there's some cool videos on here i laughed a couple times oh this is a this is a good product or a good item from this creator that he suggested and you feel like five minutes goes by and you realize it's been 35, 40 minutes that you've been swiping on TikTok. And that's kind of the danger of the app. You often see people wasting and over consuming on the platform. We all find ourselves over consuming and TikTok is just the penultimate of a time waster of an app. <laughs> Before I switch over into the positives, I want to know your opinion on other negatives of TikTok. My perspective is just one perspective on the app. Like I said, I'm a creator on the app, so maybe I'm a little bit biased regardless. And so I want to know what you think as someone who watches a lot of videos, who isn't part of the creative process. It'd be good to know your opinion is just as valid as, as mine is. So type out a little, type out something for your boy down in the comment section so we can have a conversation about it later. And by later, I mean the end of this video. You better watch this whole video. <laughs> in all seriousness, I would love to know what you think for real. No argument is fair unless you look at both sides of the coin. And if you think TikTok is ruined fashion, let me try to convince you otherwise really quick. Simply put, fashion can never be ruined, but your relationship with fashion can change and evolve over time, making you think that fashion is ruined. For example, we all have bias to the items and the products and the brands that we like and enjoy. Even here on YouTube, I like New Balance, I like Levi's, I like um, Dickies, I like Oray, I like smaller brands, I like my own brand. I like a ton of different things, right? And the things that I like shape the way I think about what fashion is. And for you, whatever you like, whether it be avant-garde, whether it be workwear, whether it be streetwear, whether it be Americana, Japanese Americana, whether it be workwear, wh whatever it may be, it shapes the way that you think about fashion, right? Now on TikTok, there isn't as much of a diversity of content creators talking about all of these different things yet, but it doesn't mean that content creators that are on TikTok have ruined fashion. They just talk about it in a particular way through the lens and through the biases that they have. Let me try to paint this picture. For example, you like Vans and you go on TikTok for the first time ever and you're scrolling, you're scrolling, you're not seeing a lot of videos about fashion and then oop, you see your first video about fashion, you watch it and it's talking about, you know, this huge Jordan 1 collection, right? You scroll a little bit more, maybe three or four more times, you see another video about Jordan 1s and you continuously see Jordan 1, Jordan 1, Jordan 1 everywhere. And you think to yourself, man, TikTok is ruining sneakers and ruining fashion. I would challenge you on that thought, right? In reality, TikTok is always influencing a particular audience towards a particular style or genre of fashion. And so because you view content relating to, let's say, Jordan 1s or Dunks or whatever it may be, it doesn't necessarily mean that all of the content on the app is influencing as many people as you think it might be. And that's a simple thought, and it's not revolutionary by any, any means at all. And you can say that about any social media once again, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram or Reddit or whatever. 
obviously these apps they do have power and influence but they're not absolute and that's the point i'm trying to get at tiktok as an app isn't an absolute force against fashion it does play a role of course of course because it does shape the buying habits and the thoughts of a lot of people but it doesn't shape the buying and the, the buying habits and the thoughts of all people you know what i mean if you're not on tiktok and you like fashion in your opinion you know tiktok isn't really ruining fashion it may be influencing it right once again but it's not ruining it per se because if you like japanese americana all tiktok is doing when it comes to japanese americana is introducing more people into it right and the brands that you like whether they be sugarcane or capital or beams or beams plus whatever it may be they all live on a spectrum right some of them are going to be in the mainstream light which are on tiktok and some of them aren't right some brands that that are small like I talk about often on my channel, like Boy Blondie or Ore or Ever Joyner, those brands are never gonna be in the focal point or the focal view of what TikTok creators create. And that's because they just haven't hit that mainstream, they haven't hit that high level conversation, right? There's just too much nuance to straight up answer the question, has TikTok ruined fashion with a yes or no? When I talked about earlier about how has Google ruined the importance of an education, I wanted to get you to think about why that question isn't as straightforward as it might seem to be a lot of people might say yeah google has ruined the importance of education because you can pretty much google anything and learn anything but just because you can know something doesn't make you an expert and just because someone creates a video on tiktok doesn't mean that they've changed the essence of what fashion is in my opinion but the nuance goes further than that maybe fashion tiktok has ruined jordan ones and sb dunks for the people who like them before they were very popular if you look at the past there have been so many shoes clothing items trends that have been quote unquote ruined by whether it be social media whether it be a certain group of people wearing it whether it be the fact that they just go out of trend and a lot of people will say well yeah you know hype beast ruined supreme but it didn't it just changed your relationship with the way you think about supreme supreme is still alive and well and thriving right and just like any other version or genre of fashion that you have an interest in whether it be like i said once again workwear gorp core whether it be women's wear or men's wear tiktok hasn't essentially ruined men's wear or ruined women's wear or ruined avant-garde fashion it's just changed maybe the relationship that you have with it it's changed the way you view it there's a paradigm shift happening and it's because of culture it's because of technology it's because of progress fashion fashion can't stay the same and i think this that's a really that's a really important aspect of the idea of fashion your mindset plays a huge huge role and whether or not you believe fashion is ruined or or not by TikTok. And if you believe that it's ruined by TikTok off the top, then that's just you're going to be your mindset towards it. But if you have an open mindset towards things like TikTok, things like virtual fashion shows or AR, or whatever, whatever is coming next, because there will always be something that will threaten what fashion is right now. Right. Whether it be a designer whether it be a brand, there will always be something that will threaten the current establishment of fashion, the idea, because it is just an idea, right? Fashion changes over time. And I think a really important point to hone in on is this idea of fashion changing. In the 1700s, when corsets were introduced, I bet someone said, are corsets ruining fashion? You know what I mean? And, and that you can take that example and you can apply it to the 1900s. Or you can apply it to the 1990s or the 2000s or the 2010s. And there's so many things that will always have an impact on what our idea of fashion is in, the, in our current time, right? And there's always going to be something threatening that idea because there's always going to be new ideas <laughs> it's going to be new brands like i said and there's going to be new ways to communicate with audiences for those brands and this is kind of where we get into how contemporary fashion how the 21st century's impact on fashion is even grander now I, I probably could make a whole video about this but tiktok is another way to communicate ideas right it's it's 
one of the most liberating ways to communicate ideas because the ideas that are communicated are communicated by common people, by me, by you, by anybody. Anyone can communicate an idea. Where in the past, a lot of times the communication, even let's let's even go before the internet was really popular, like 80s or, or late 70s, before ideas were communicated, it was hard for individuals to learn about the things that they didn't know about, right? Like how could you learn about what's happening in Chicago or what's happening in New York or LA in the 70s or 80s at a scale that we are able to to learn about it in the modern area modern era when it comes to fashion you just couldn't do that back then right and so the communication aspect of it is something that for people who are growing up in iowa people who are growing up in malaysia people growing up in india they can learn about what's happening for example in the states or in singapore or in china or in uh, france you can learn about what's happening in those places in a way that you've never been able to do so before and that's one of the biggest i think pluses to tiktok and if you hate tiktok i think that you need to connect with some of the creators that either i'm following or i'm going to mention some of my favorite are drew and color she does a fantastic job of articulating really funny commentary and really great fashion advice and tips for men and for women and I love that about her. Marcus Milione or Milone or however you say his name has quickly become one of my favorite creators on TikTok because of his genuine nature. He's such a genuine dude. He comes off so genuine. His brand Mint in New York is really really dope. Inspires me a ton. Check him out. Lainey Ozark is a YouTuber who I've been watching with my girlfriend, her kind of passion and her voice and her just energy for vintage and for repurposing garments and creating outfits and all these things. She does a great job on both YouTube and TikTok. Love what she does. Opal, one of the best young creators on the app, does a fantastic job. I feel like his talent alone when it comes to articulating ideas surrounding fashion, whether it be avant-garde or certain designers or certain pieces, he does a fantastic job. Javon is a great, great creator who is on his way to a million followers on the on the platform, which is insane. You know, Clayson Fetcher, who kind of does his own sewing and things like that. Jerk Slim is great. And I'm really enjoying the People Gallery, which is a really fun account showcasing outfits in Brooklyn and New York. There are so many dope accounts creating noteworthy content on the app. Just like here on YouTube, there are some YouTubers where you probably watch them and it's very clickbaity and you don't really like the videos and it's not stimulating for you. And there's some that are maybe more stimulating. You know, some buy your, your favorite YouTuber Drew, what it do? You know what I mean? Some, so <laughs> Just like any app, you have the good, you have the bad, and no one's really bad. You have what you like and what you don't like. As a creator, I think the app is great. You can communicate your ideas. You can talk about things that you love try to find community. It's a little bit harder. There isn't as much community on TikTok and that's one of the things that's more of a negative. And I probably should have mentioned that as well in the negative section, but I think TikTok doesn't really have community like maybe Instagram or YouTube does. You can comment things that are just more community based, right? A lot of times with TikTok, you'll get some pretty wild comments, whether it be from people who've never seen your content before, who are just scrolling on the For You page or making snap judgments about you and your content without really understanding the backstory of why you communicated the idea you wanted to communicate. And I think last thing I want to talk about in regards to why TikTok is great is it really is the pulse of youth culture, in my opinion. No other app has so many young people flock to it, creating and kind of just pushing that needle forward, becoming the next generation of individuals within society. I'm 23 years old. I'm about to be 24 years old and I graduated high school. I graduated college. And now that I'm out of those two places, you know, it's so much different to be in the quote unquote real world. And youth culture is always going to be something that I'm going to be holding on to because I enjoyed being a kid, right? I enjoyed um, laughing and playing and having fun and learning new things. And I think that's what youth culture is really about. And it's about the creativity and exploration. So TikTok is always going to be a reference for, oh, what are the kid? What what are, what do what are people like who are younger who are coming up? Like, do they like it, this artist or do they like this artist? Okay, they like they like this artist. I don't know why they I don't know why they like this man. You know, Olivia Rodrigo or whatever. <laughs> Little Tekka. <laughs> but there's a lot to learn, man. There's a lot to learn. So that's kind of where I sit with when I think about the the good aspects of TikTok. So much opportunity on the app 
And I think that if you approach it in the right way, it can be a net positive experience for you. But I know that there's also just so much things that people cringe at when it comes to the app as well. And so when it comes to my answer, this is going to be tough. All right, the verdict's in. The answer to the title of this video for me, my opinion, you can have a different opinion down in the comment section, but my opinion, TikTok hasn't ruined fashion, but I do think it is a weapon that can harm fashion. The idea that something's ruined is not straightforward in my opinion. I love and enjoy fashion. I know a lot of people who love and enjoy fashion on and off TikTok. And just because TikTok has some elements to it that are negative, it doesn't mean it's ruined the entirety of fashion. It has some positive things. It definitely has some negative things to it that really make you not like the app and i get that sometimes the app can hurt self-expression or community and appreciation for other people's styles i think for me as a creator there are a few things that i just do not like about it that just i'm still trying to wrestle with in terms of creating content on the app which is the copycat nature of of the app and the just insanely wild comments that you'll get on the app uh, that I've seen on other creators comment sections and I've received in my own comment sections. I also think the app thrives off of negativity and controversy. So the more controversial you are, the more you sometimes bring up things that incite people's anger, the more uh, views and likes and clicks that you get. And that's kind of a negative app if you ask me if you're striving to get views by having more sensationalized content that it's, it involves more outrageous claims or outrageous ideas it just pushes i think societal needle and a fashion needle in the wrong direction but I think I stand firm that social media is meant to be a conversation. So it'll never ruin the idea of an entity, just like smartphones haven't ruined photography, right? What we think of about photography in 2021 is much different than how we thought about it in 1950. But just because of the iPhone or smartphones, it doesn't mean that photography is ruined. And even aspects of photography that we loved before, like film, for example, are wildly popular today because we understand the value of that section of photography right and just like with fashion there are genres within it that will always be prevalent and there are some that will recede into the, the basically into the into the closet right like some of the things that we used to wear or do will not be popular anymore right and that's the nature of fashion but there will still be value for those who have interest in those items no matter if there's tiktok or yik yak or whatever social media that exists in the future vine if there's a vine 2.0 or whatever whatever if we enter into a world of straight vr and it's all vr and we think to ourselves man vr ruined fashion there will always be people who love and appreciate the actual clothing not the virtual clothing and that's kind of a divergence from this video and i've kind of done that a few times so i'm sorry but i saw facebook mention this vr sunglasses with ray-ban and we're entering into the world of vr and craziness so i don't know i thought that i thought i'd add that i don't know bro I don't even know. <laughs> I know a lot of people really hate TikTok and you might be disagreeing with me saying oh, TikTok is all bad. It's terrible, blah, blah, blah. Let me know. I want to know what, why, why you think that down in the conversation. I think it has some bad stuff, but I think you can't just ignore some of the good things that it does. And that's just, that goes with everything in life. That's kind of my mindset. There are a lot of things that are negative and that we probably want to avoid but let's also try to understand the value that they do bring because you know social media is here to stay and we all know that earlier this year i also made a video about how tiktok influences modern fashion and in that video it had an overall positive look at tiktok and i think now three four months later from that video or maybe not three four months like two three months later from that video the way I think about TikTok is a much more neutral kind of app, right? Before I was positive on it because I grew my account like 60,000 followers in like a month. I was like, oh my gosh, like my life is going to change. And, you know, I, I can't believe this was happening. This I didn't even intend for it to happen like this. And I was helping my business and helping, helping me introduce myself to people like yourself who are watching this video. And maybe you, maybe you saw me on TikTok first and you actually came to my youtube afterwards and you know me from tiktok it's it's unbelievable the amount of people that you can reach right but i think now a few months older about to turn 24 i have a much more kind of neutral 
feeling. There's a much more neutral tone to TikTok than a positive one that I had back in the other video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and are typing out why you think I'm wrong down in the comment sections or why you think I'm right or typing down just your thoughts on TikTok in general. Like I said, I want the comment section to be filled up. Talk to me about what your ideas are as it relates to has TikTok ruined fashion. If you are new and you made it to this point, let me give you a fist bump, bro. Or if you're if you're a subscriber and you made it to this point, I'm going to give you a fist bump too. So this is for the new people. There you go. If you're a subscriber, let's do it twice. Bop, bop. You feel me? So I appreciate each and every person who, who watches these videos. You guys are for real some of the best. You guys aren't fans. You guys are my homies. I don't even know what to call you. Y'all are just the best. Y'all are the best, for real. Um, and so... Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Like I always say, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2021. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Abianto. All right, you made it to the post video vid section, all right? And we need to talk about the Met Gala for a second. I'm not gonna make a whole video about this, all right? We need to talk about some fits from the Met Gala, okay? Um, I think that there were some pretty outrageous ones. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian, what are you doing? Um, I think Lil Nas X. I don't know what he's doing. That was a bit much. Um, there were some really, really cool ones. I like Alicia Keys fit, if I can remember correctly. Um, I think Emma Chamberlain had a nice little fit on. Um, what do you guys think about the Met Gala? Like, for me... It's it's just it's it's just a show, right? It's just obviously to showcase the styles and the celebrities and things like that, and um, it's interesting, but once again, like not like ultra interesting um, to me. But yeah, what do you, what do you think about the Met Gala? Who who had the best fit at the Met Gala? And we have Frank Ocean with his baby. That was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. Um, yeah. All right, well, that concludes the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it for real. And uh, there's a lot more videos coming. Sorry I missed a, a, a Sunday upload. I feel bad, but we gonna get back to it. All right, peace.